Uber's only been a public company for a couple quarters now, and for them to come out and, and, and do what they did last night, it's obviously a disaster. I'm actually surprised the stock's not down lower. It did, it did rally off its lows. On the, There was a lot of hope on the conference call last night. You know, Dar was upbeat, but like you even stressed it in, in your comments earlier, he's saying we think 2019 is going to be our peak loss. We should be, you know, be towards a clear path towards profitability by 2021. That's a lot of hope. I mean, you see the $5 billion yeah. number. Obviously, they're, they're, they're stock comp based involved in that as well. But even so, their, their core service, their ride sharing business, adjusted revenues were flat year over year. They missed the top line by 3%. Latin America, which is kind of their second engine of uh, geography for growth, was down 24%. And meanwhile, their number one founder, or, or sorry, backer, SoftBank, is still throwing capital at their competitors across the world in both ride sharing and food delivery. So the story, no doubt, is a lot murky. And I think the frustration with the commerce call last night, you listen to it, and he really did, he really kind of scooted around a lot it's of a questions lot of, regarding yeah, Jolt, you, profitability. You, 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 yeah. you used the right word, the S word, should. There was a lot of should. This yeah. should be our peak losses. We should be more profitable. We should. A lot of shoulds. Do you believe that? Do you believe the worst is behind Uber? No, I mean, in my, in my track record, when you, when, you, when you see these type of companies and, then, and after a quarter like that, and, and obviously there's been a lot of skepticism, you know, just over the overall business, given the, the heavy promotional environment. Obviously, Lyft was very reassuring last night. Saying, you know, they cut promos by about 40 percent. And I think that's what caught people most off guard with the Uber print. You know, here you go. You have Lyft, which has arguably been viewed as the se second tier company in, in kind of between the, in the ride sharing battle. And then Uber, the leader. Uh, just came out and kind of com completely, you know, missed it, missed it across the board. Yeah. And I don't think they deserve uh, investors kind of, uh, you know, to jump on the hope train that this is a time to buy the stock. I think you can be patient here. And, and I'd rather buy it when there's a turn in the story and, and there's a more visible, clearer path to profitability. And I think, you know, what, and I don't want to offend our audience in any way by saying what they know or what they don't know. But maybe what a lot of people don't realize is that you get in an Uber, you pay the driver, him or her, 12 bucks. The driver makes more than that. Uber and its backers and now the public investors are subsidizing the ride. Maybe the driver makes 15 or 17. You pay 12. They cover the rest of the cost. They have got to get to a point where when you, Joel, or I, or any of our viewers get in that car, we are paying for all or more of the price of the ride. That's it. It's not a complicated business. Do you think they're going to get yeah. to that point where we're going to be able to, we're going to have to pay what twenty or thirty percent more to get in an Uber to make it profitable? Will we do that? I mean, that's that will time will tell, right? I do think younger generations are shifting away from car ownership, so I think obviously the future, whether it's five, ten years from now, is going to have a. There's probably going to be more competition potentially coming into the market, whether it's Elon Musk with with Tesla. We've heard him kind of pump up, uh, you know, robo taxis. God only knows how far that is out, you know, from being a reality, though. Um, but yeah, competition's not going to go away. They still need to fight to kind of gain gain riders, and and like you said, to, to jack prices twenty to thirty percent. I think there'll be a, a significant impact, especially in the major metropolitan areas that are still investing in infrastructure, whether it's buses or, or, or subway systems. Yeah. So it, they have a, a long road ahead. We have got. I don't buy a stock today for twenty twenty one.